always considered myself a dreamer. Late at night when I'm in bed, I'll always be daydreaming about doing cool things like joining certain competitions, becoming a school prefect, doing fancy projects on the side. But more often than not, these visions stayed in my dreams. Because when the morning came, I'll always be filled with self-doubt and fear and be scared of leaving out of my comfort zone. After all, why would you ever risk failing or being rejected when you could live your good old zero-risk regular life? And so I made the decision to stay within the confines of my comfort zone, only participating in activities I'm familiar with. However, as I grew older, I see more and more of my friends getting opportunities that I too want to take part in. Some becoming head prefects, some winning competitions that grant them a trip overseas. But I, I was still sitting in my room making up fantasies that my friends have turned into realities for themselves. The more I was looking into others' achievement, the more the nagging feeling in my heart intensified the more the guilt for not just being brave enough to break through these mental blocks consumed me. I also want to be like one of them, or at least have a cool story to tell, with, share with my friends in a DV trip, instead of being the boring person who's never tried anything. And obviously to do that, I will have to take chances and pot pot potentially face rejections or chances of failure head on both of which I've grown to skillfully avoid in the past. While comfort zones can provide a sense of security, it can also hold us back from growing and limit our achievements. And that's when I realized how, much, how important being self-confident is, to be able to take losses gracefully and move on despite self-doubt and fear. And that's when I realized I needed a change. After I finished my last GCSE paper, I gave myself one goal, to go out and take more risks throughout the summer. In June, I decided to go into a coffee shop holding my freshly made CV looking for a job. And it was a big step up for me. For weeks, I became a frequent lurker in various subreddits, flipping through posts of popular interview questions what to avoid saying while brainstorming what I should mention as preparation. Until one fateful day where I've gained enough confidence to actually take action. So I was holding my CV. I looped around the coffee shop, took a deep breath, took a peek in, and guess what? I went to the grocery store next door instead. I was way too scared. I wasn't prepared at all. I needed a recoup. So I took out my phone and scrolled on TikTok to distract myself, as we all do. Until 10 minutes later, when I realized that the shop's about to close. And I'll admit, it's the urgency of missing out on the opportunity that pushed me to take the first step. But still, cautiously, I opened the door, took a step in, and with the tiniest, shakiest voice, asked, are you guys hiring anyone right now? The next thing I remembered was running all the way back home with a grin on my face. Not because I was sure that I was going to be hired, but because I was so happy that I broke through my mental block and worked towards my goal. And that was exhilarating. Thankfully, a few days later, I got a text saying that I can go in for a trial shift and an interview. In July, I saw a startup calling for volunteers to provide GCSE tips for newly arrived Hong Kong students who have never been educated in, um, in the UK before and help them adjust to life in the UK. And to join the organization, I had to fill in a form stating why I think I'm a suitable candidate, what skill sets I have, and do a panel interview. Just three of my absolute favorite things in the entire world. However daunting these have been, I'm so glad I mustered up the courage to actually go for them. Since I have become a more organized person as a whole, I communicated better with other people, 
Not to mention the many cool people I got to meet as a result of joining the organization. Today, I'm standing here not as someone who's written a research journal about some groundbreaking scientific discoveries, nor have I started my own company helping millions of people each day with their problems and is telling you all about their success stories. I'm standing here as a regular year 12 student with next to zero credentials, who's just started her journey of trying to get the most out of the world as she can right now, to show you that, yes, while leaving comfort zones are scary, it is extremely doable, and that we probably aren't going to be best at everything the first time we do it. But with practice, everything becomes a little bit better each time. Start small. If you're scared of public speaking, answer more questions in class, or go around the school selling event tickets, or do an assembly, or do a TED talk. <laughs> I remember the first time I ever did a school assembly. I was the only person who started her words. Everyone else, even people younger than me, delivered what they wanted eloquently and confidently. And four years later, after chatting to my friends about it, I realized that I'm the only one hung up on that since most of them have even forgotten the assembly taking place in the first place. It's true that people might judge you at the exact moment when you messed up, but be rest assured because they probably don't care that much and will forget about that in a few days' time. You can make a million excuses not to go for something. You can also blame it on literally anything to justify the excuses. But at the end of the day, there's only one reason to go for your dreams. The promise that future you won't regret missing out on experiences you're now too scared to go for. And that's how you can be all you can be. Thank you.